In this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly why and how you can forgive your parents so that you can live a more happy, fulfilling life. The reason why you should forgive your parents, the first thing that you need to do is you need to understand, okay? And I fought with my parents for a really long time, the way that they brought me up, the way that they handled things. And I was always so angry at them. And I was always like, why did they have a child? Why did they bring me up like this, right? And then at some point, I realized that I was only ever fighting with myself. Because the first thing that you've got to understand, and bear in mind that everything I say, I'm not excusing any behavior, right? But you forgive other people so that you can be at peace with yourself. Because when you're angry with someone else and they don't understand what they've done wrong, you're only ever hurting yourself. And this is why, you know, you need to be the bigger person and you need to be in a certain place. You need to deal with all the the emotions first before you can get to this place. But the first thing that you need to do is you need to understand why this was the way that it was. And so for me, for example, you know, and it will be the same for, for people watching. It's like th they are people from a different generation. And, you know, this is how they were brought up and this is how their parents were brought up. And it goes back generations and generations and generations. And, you know, it's only now that people are, you know, becoming awakened and that it's, you know, fairly normalized that people just tend to repeat, you know, behavior patterns over and over again. Right. It goes. This is why they, they talk about ancestral trauma and things like that and why you, if you're watching this video, you're the one that has to fix it, you know, and God knows that so many times I'm like, why, why am I the one that has to deal with this? Why am I the cycle breaker? But that is exactly what you are. And so everybody who is successful and who you know is doing what they love and what they want and helping people they've gone through loads of trauma themselves and that is the only reason why they can help themselves so once you understand why they treated you the way that they did why they handled things in the way that they did it is then easier to deal with those emotions and that is the second thing that you need to do when you once you understand you need to then take yourself away and you need to deal with those emotions whatever they may be anger sadness you know you, you can journal you can cry you can scream not at them but i think something really powerful to do is when you write a letter to someone and then you know you get rid of it because the intention of that is what helps you to move that energy through your body so you know exercise is really good for this um writing anything that you're let where you're letting stuff out of the body so breathing dancing and movement are the three things in which you can let emotions move out of the body so the second thing that you need to do is you need to actually acknowledge this emotion because for me I was always like very angry you know I had a lot of resentment and that was just all it and that would manifest in other ways it would affect my relationships my work my personal life like just everything was affected by this anger that I didn't know where I was coming from and and this is one of the things that humans are very good at doing um, that actually their masses are doing this is, you know, hiding emotions and pretending that the issue is the thing that they're complaining about instead of something much deeper. So the second thing that you need to do is you need to get rid of those emotions, right? And take your time. You don't need to tell anybody that you're doing this, especially not your parents. You know, if you're in contact with them, you don't need to tell anybody about this this is only for you when you take your time and you do what you need to do and one of the things that i always really recommend is to cultivate self-love do whatever it is that you need to do in order to cultivate that because if you've not had a great upbringing normally you wouldn't have a lot of self-love because you will need validation uh, because you never had validation from your parents um or you only get validation when you're you know you're a certain type of child you exhibit a certain behavior so self-love is really good for everything in general because when you develop a better relationship with yourself everything else seems to sort of like slot into place um and it won't affect you as much anymore that they can't give you that because you give that to yourself and again in a child healing it's the same thing it's about nurturing the child that was never nurtured because this is why we become angry adults sad adults you know why we develop all these mental conditions whatever it is is because we were never heard as children, we were never looked after as children, you know, and depending on what's out of balance in your body, there are many different theories, many different ways in which you can look at this. But when something wasn't nurtured, when, when you weren't allowed to express yourself, when something wasn't taken care of, when you didn't feel safe, then that, how, that, that is how it's going to manifest in 
in adulthood, which is why I've spoken in a previous video about OCD, was my lack of control that I had as a child and growing up that, you know, as an adult, I was like, well, if I control everything in my life, then everything will be fine. And the third thing that you need to do is you need, once you've done the healing, and this is the place where I said you needed to be at in order to do this, because it can take years, it can take so many years. It really depends on how much trauma you have in the body. But the third thing is to accept that this is the reality. And this is one of the most freeing things with relationships, with any type of relationship, in fact, with parenting, which just with whatever that you're sometimes attached to. Sometimes looking at the cold hard fact, it's the really the best thing that you can do because you know, you have this idea of like, you know, like when someone wrongs you and you're like, I just want to tell them and I just want to show them how they've wronged me. Um, but then the other person doesn't see that there's a certain disconnect because they just don't see that that they're, they're protecting themselves. And what you've got to always remember is that only hurt people hurt people like happy people don't hurt people right now. Realistically, your parents, my parents, they're not going to go and do that. They're not going to go and heal like they're not going to be like, oh, actually, you know, I'm in my 50s, 60s, 70s. Actually, I'm going to completely change who I am as a person because in their generation, that wasn't a thing. You know, um, mental health wasn't a thing until very recently, even though it's always been a thing. But how they used to treat people is very different to how they treat people now. Right. And it's only getting better. So accepting the facts and accepting that this is a reality and that this is what it is right and it's like okay this is what's happened this is how they are it's not going to change it does not reflect on me and it does not reflect on who i am as a person right so i really hope that this has helped you and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and you know share it with people who you think really will benefit from this this isn't just about parenting this is about relationships in general just always remember you need to forgive people for your own peace right for yourself right it's been proven that you know a lot of chronic illnesses develop from emotional pain right and then they manifest physically so you need to bring peace into your life and you need to forgive people for yourself it's not for other people when they've done something wrong to you it's like you know it would be great to say that oh i am the bigger person you know i'm so enlightened i can just forgive everybody but you forgive people so that you can have peace because carrying around all this hurt and all this baggage and that's why i say you need to do whatever you need to do for yourself in order to you know rid yourself of that emotional baggage and that pain and that trauma um so yes as i was saying i hope that this has helped you if you've got any questions if you've got any thoughts anything let me know in the comments let me know how you're doing with this journey and um, i will see you in the next video bye